Wout van Aert riding for Team Jumbo Visma. Testing for, for us is of course, really important to, to know uh, how to train, especially talking about uh, what I'm doing, so the combination between cyclocross and road racing uh, inside helped me a lot to uh, to train on my fat neck zone. Uh, this is less important for cyclocross and this is what we saw also in uh, in the inside test that it's not uh, that my VLA max is not uh, is a little bit too high. Um, and afterwards we started training a lot more fat neck trainings so that uh, I will be able in the longer classics to uh, to keep my sugars for the final and uh, not yeah, waste them already in the beginning. Here in Spain, for example, I always do it uh, uphill, and then uh, it's uh, four repetitions of 20 minutes during longer training. Um, always on, uh, yeah, the power for me is uh, approximately 350 watts, and uh, I go three minutes on a high cadence, two minutes on low cadence, and repeat this until the 20 minutes are, are over. In November we did the inside test and there uh, my Vela Max was uh, a bit too high and uh, it turns out that uh, yeah, my, my peak performance was pretty good but uh, somehow during the races I was not able to, to follow the high intensity uh, uh, for longer than a few laps so I always have to slow down to recover a little bit. Uh, so the, the, the sign of uh, the test said that this was uh, necessary to, to bring down the VLA max a little, a little bit more, so I was able to ride on a higher pace for longer time. It, uh, it really helped to get uh, get a clear uh, origin of the problem, let's say. So uh, yeah, it, it, showed, it showed me and my trainer where we need to work on. and. Uh, it's really helped us a lot. Wout van Aert, it's a drag race. Wout van Aert looking for the victory on the line. Wout van Aert takes stage five.